Patrick Cook here. So welcome to session number 35 of our Mandelbulb 3D Epic Rendering Tutorial. We're looking at the, uh, the PNG right now. All right, that this is the PNG that we had uh, that we had uh, the uh, the image J uh, rendered out. All right, merged and then saved as a PNG. Now, all I want to do right now is just kind of look at this and see whether or not uh, our quality was retained. If we've lost anything, okay, and we'll see how well it holds up to zooming. Okay. All right. Very interesting. Okay. I see a couple things. This object right here appears to have been clipped off. Let me just uh, get back over here. Okay. I'm zoomed all the way out. All right. This is full picture here. Uh, it does seem to clip a little bit here, possibly over on this side as well. Let's do a little something, a little experiment here. I'm going to go to where the tiles were, were created. Um, and let's, uh, let's go large icons. And I'm, I'm looking for the tile that is on this, over in this area right here. This uh, might be it. Well, it's hard to say. Let's go. Let's go extra large tiles. Okay, here we go. Okay, all right. So I'm going to open this up, and but I'm going to I'm going to reduce the size of this particular my wrong one. Okay, here we go. Like that. Okay, that's my little tile. You'll see what I'm doing here in a minute. Okay, there we go. So here is one tile, and I should be able to kind of place it right about here. It's this isn't perfect. I can't get this this uh, this uh, window to shrink any smaller than this. Okay, but this gives you an idea where one of those tiles is. See the kind of the the pattern match here. So what this is telling me is that Mandelbulb clipped that. All right, the merging didn't clip it. Mandelbulb clipped this object right here. All right, so that's what I wanted to prove. Let's uh, let's take a let's make let's see if let's check this side as well. Get this out of my way here, and I'm looking for this tile right here, and it probably is. It might be right here. I'm going to slide that in. Okay. Where is this tile? Get a hold of the... Where is this tile? Somewhere. Oh, that's way... It's right up in here. Okay. So, there we go. So, there's the match right there. That's not right. That's not right. We don't want that. We want, we want this one. Okay. So let's uh, let's shrink this down. Get this. Sh Come on. All right. There we go. Okay. Let's shrink that down. Get that back up. Okay. Here we go. So there is part of it right there. That's obviously not the one I want. I want this one. Get that shrunk down. Okay. So that's obviously not the one I want either. Close that. Ah, this is it. Okay, here we go. All I'm doing here is I'm just kind of inspecting to see whether or not any of these tiles really went crazy on me. And then here we go. So it appears that I don't have any clipping on my left edge. All right. And it appears that the merging has done a very good job 
in in merging these because what I'm doing right now is I'm looking for kind of any invisible lines that might have been might have occurred as these tiles were butted together merged so if I line this up really careful right about like that all right um, right in here I would expect to see some sort of a line right about in here somewhere and I don't see anything at all now I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna really die deep dive in here I'm just using my mouse here to push this around I know that there's there's two tiles one tile up here one tile up here and I am looking for any type of artifacts that would suggest that two tiles have been placed together all right, so I know that there's going to be a tile, uh, a tile uh, edges right in here somewhere. All right, so I'm going to go maximum. I'm just going to, I'm going to very slowly kind of walk this up. So I should be looking at a uh, two tiles at the top and the bottom. I'm looking at any evidence of there's any misalignment of these tiles. And my conclusion is there is none. There is no indication that there was two tiles that were merged together. All right, I'm going to come all the way back out here. All right, come on. Wow, Oof, that is huge. And I'm looking for any evidence that there's any misalignment of any tiles. And I would have to say that that image J did a really good job in merging these tiles together, number one. And number two, Mandelbulb did a really good job in creating these tiles. And I now have, I have a situation where I have this super high resolution, super high resolution graphic that I think I can do a lot with. All right? Okay? So this is pretty good. And I'm not seeing any, uh, any distracting artifacts. I got rid of that halo a long time ago. I'm not seeing any uh, oversampling. Uh, the detail is holding really nice. So here, I'm almost 200% zoomed in, and the detail is holding pretty good. The colors held up pretty good, although they're not as bright as what I had in the Mandelbulb. So I, I need to I need to adjust. I got I'm going to do some adjustment on on the the exposure. I'm going to bring out the colors a little bit more. Got some work to do on this. Uh, shadowing. Shadowing held up really nice. I mean, you see this area right here. That's kind of in a shadow. But you see how nicely uh, it, uh, we, we have a shadowing effect in here? You see, I can still see detail in these shadows. I don't, I don't have a black, dark area that would hide details. Um, you know, in photography, we, 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 re we play with shadows a lot in photography. And we're very, very careful. Uh, with shadowing because shadows if, if there's too much of a shadow you lose detail um, I don't know uh, three or four years ago uh, I did a uh, I did an extensive uh, uh, training course on HDR high dynamic range in photography and uh, one of the principles of HDR is that you want to have what's called a dynamic range so that you have the maximum benefit of your exposure throughout the whole image. Uh, and, sh and shadows is another way of referring to the dark end of the HDR image. And you have the other end, which is the highlights. Uh, for instance, here, um, 
these, these reddish areas, that would be considered highlights. Whereas the darker areas right in here would be considered uh, the other end of the, the exposure range, shadows, all right, or the darks. And with HDR, what you're looking to do, well, partly looking to do, is to have a range between the darks and the highlights, the shadows and the highlights, the darks and the whites, okay? to have as great a range as you can possibly get so that there is more detail that is visible to the viewer. The more detail that you have, the, the more interesting your image or your, your photo is. So if we look at this, the, the, the whole Mandelbulb rendering it had something to do with my adjustments too, all right? But the whole Mandelbulb rendering held my range between the darks, all right? The darks all in here, and the highlights may be up in here. It held the dynamic range quite nicely. I now have a very interesting image in which I have shadowing, but I have not lost detail in the shadowing, okay? That's the key point. If these, if these uh, shadows had gone black, then I'd have a whole bunch of black stuff in here and it would not look good. But even at this zoomed out range, we can see, you can see detail down in there. And that's good because the detail and the shadowing simulates depth. So I've taken a flat 3D image and I've used shadowing to help simulate or give the impression of depth. And that is a more interesting image than you would have if you just had something flat. Well, this is why we take the time and we be careful with the processing of the, or I should say the, the configuration of the image before we start stitching. We try to get it as right here so that we have the minimum work on after everything is uh, rendered and then merged. I like what we have here. This is very, very, uh, this is a very good result. All right, so let's end this session here and we'll come back and we'll, we'll continue on. And I, I think that this project here is uh, very successful. I'll see you in the next session.